Hello aviators, welcome back to The Finer Points. In this video, we're gonna be talking about box canyon turns, or more appropriately, minimum radius turns, because the solution to how to get out of a box canyon is not one answer. There's, there's multiple options depending on what the situation requires, and you need to have all these tools uh, in your toolkit. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. So the first thing I wanna review is a minimum radius turn. Remember that when you turn an airplane, it's the horizontal component of lift that pulls you through the turn. Also, the slower your ground speed, best we can do usually is airspeed, but the slower your ground speed, the tighter the radius of that turn. Okay, now, let's talk about a box canyon turn. And there's really two ways to execute this depending on what the situation requires. Like when you see us every spring, for example, go out to Buckeye Pass and Tioga Pass and fly the mountains of the Sierra Nevada, um, oftentimes these canyons are shaped like a V, meaning the lower you get, the tighter they are. Often it's a high density altitude already and you're flying into kind of rising terrain. You're likely going to already be at full power or a relatively slow airspeed due to the high density altitude. Now you're going to see me fly this without flaps. If you are flying an airplane that has flaps, 10 degrees would be equally appropriate here. Uh, and we're going to use VX for the purposes of this video and for safety, but as you practice with your CFI, obviously the slowest speed you could safely fly would be the tightest turn. All right, you guys, let's take a look at this box canyon turn and let's imagine we're at a high density altitude. We're in kind of one of those classic V-shaped canyons. The floor of the canyon's coming up and we realize we're not going to be able to climb out of the canyon straight ahead. So hopefully we planned ahead. We're on the downwind side of the canyon. We're going to be able to turn into the wind. Uh, but the first thing you're going to want to do if you're not already there is go full power and pitch up to lose airspeed. So you're, you're bringing in that power to give your airplane the most energy possible, and you're pitching up so that you reduce your forward speed, your airspeed, but it's also your ground speed really is the best you can do. You're gonna reduce that in the forward direction until you get to about VX, which in this plane is 63-ish. And then we're going to slowly turn around, so a gentle bank. Now, we're close ish to the stall here so that's kind of what you're practicing is can you turn around we're at about 15 20 degrees of bank here it's 60 knots can you can you get comfortable holding enough right rudder here as you turn around in both directions practice it to the left practice it to the right we're not losing any altitude we're gaining altitude and we're turning in a minimal amount of ground distance all right so that is going to be your way out for most Box Canyon situations. Now note that it's similar to a Shondell, but you don't start the bank until you reduce your speed. Remember in a Shondell, you bank right away and you pull all the way around to the 90 point. You're not doing that here in a Box Canyon turn. All right, let's try this one to the right again. We're gonna start at 4,200 feet on a heading of 215. All right, and let's simulate a high density altitude here. So let's imagine we're 2300 RPM or 2250 there. And that's all we've got. That's full throttle. Imagine the throttle's all the way in. You're not putting out full power because you're not at sea level. And all of a sudden you realize the canyon floor is coming up. You're in that V-shaped canyon. You don't really have a ton of room below you. And it does not look like you're going to be able to climb out of the canyon in front of you. The first thing to do is pitch up to slow your forward speed and get as much altitude as you can. Slowing that forward speed so that the radius of your turn is as tight as possible. When you get to VX, which in this airplane is about 63-ish max gross, so let's call it 60. I'm going to go into a shallow bank here, about 15 or 20 degrees, keeping my pitch. Notice I'm still climbing. I'm still, quote, full power. I've got 60 knots, and I'm turning as tightly as I feel comfortable. Now, what you're practicing here with your CFI is getting, you're kind of close to the stall, so you want to be comfortable flying that around into 180 degrees, uh, for 180 degrees, so that you can fly away from whatever canyon you were flying into. Okay, now what if you do have altitude beneath you and that's not the issue? You're not in a V-shaped canyon, the canyon floor is not rising. Consider the Cory Lytle accident. Uh, this is a Hudson River Valley accident 
where a CFI and a student made a downwind turn and then collided with a building. They had plenty of altitude. They could have rolled into a more aggressive bank and allowed the horizontal component of lift to pull the airplane away from the building. The only thing I can think is perhaps they weren't comfortable with that type of maneuver. So if you're not in a confined space vertically or your canyon has sheer walls like it does for us when we're down in the canyons of the, of the Southwest every October, uh, this next maneuver is something you should have up your sleeve, right? And that's where you're going to just pull power to idle and reduce your forward airspeed as quickly as possible. You're going to pitch up and then when you get to your VX speed, actually a little bit before that, you're gonna put flaps in around 70, get to your VX speed, and then roll the airplane into an aggressive bank, 45 degrees, 50 degrees, you know, up to 70 degrees if you need it, uh, to pull the airplane away from whatever it is you might potentially collide with. And uh, here's what that looks like. You would just go power to idle, you'd pitch up to reduce all that speed, all that speed. You're gonna target 60 on this one as well, but when you come through 70, go full flaps, Roll the airplane into a steep bank, something that you feel comfortable with. Here we are at 50 degrees of bank. And notice how tightly we turn around. We did lose altitude, but we got comfortable banking the airplane steeply and re releasing our back pressure. Remember in a light airplane, if you're releasing your back pressure, you're not gonna stall. Okay, once again, in this bank, what you're trying to get comfortable with is steep bank angles close to the ground. If you are releasing the yoke, you are not going to stall the airplane. Any increase in your load factor is going to be negligible. It is almost impossible to stall an airplane without pulling. Practice that, practice pitching up till you slow your speed down at about 70 knots, full flaps, roll into as steep a bank as you feel comfortable and release your back pressure as you come down the other side. That will also be another way to turn around in an extremely confined space. All right, aviators, I hope you got a lot out of that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave me a comment if there's a video you'd like to see. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, share far and wide with your friends, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. Uh, come join us on Patreon, tons of bonus content, monthly hangouts with me, video versions of podcasts, Instagram lives, full lesson videos, much, much more. Lots of stuff there at Patreon if you'd like to support the finer points in our mission to get quality flight training out on the internet and get bonus content visit patreon.com slash learn tfp a huge thanks to forflight the essential app for aviation online at forflight.com and a huge thanks to aopa pilot protection services remember when you renew your aopa membership you should select pilot protection services i'm jason miller you guys are the best fans on the internet until next time be safe and fly your best